Hey, what's up everyone? Pastor Mike here. Uh, can I ask you a huge favor? Would you take 30 seconds to rate and review this podcast? If it's been a blessing to you in your spiritual life, you can take that little step that's going to help us reach more people and connect them to God's amazing grace. Thanks so much in advance for your help and God bless. How much heat can your hands take? I remember as a kid going to help my mom wash the dishes and I put my hands in that hot soapy water and I pulled them out thinking that my skin was going to be gone because it was so hot. And I remember asking her, how can you wash dishes with water that is so hot? And she said, well, if you helped wash dishes more, you would get more used to it. <laughs> she got me. I have a friend who was a cook at one time. And in order to find out whether or not these big, thick hamburger patties were cooked just to the right temperature, he didn't use tongs or spatula. He would use his fingers to, to pick them up and squeeze them. And he even used his fingers to flip them over on the hot burner that was cooking them. I asked him, how can you do that? He said his fingers developed such calluses and his nerves just got used to it. And over time, he could deal with that heat. You know, when we think about temptation, in a lot of ways, it's dealing with the heat around us. And it can feel like we'll, we really can't stand a chance. There has to be a way that we can overcome and deal with the heat of everything that's tempting us, whether it's our own desires or it's things that are attractive in this world or the pressures of evil around us that seem hot and hotter still day after day. But that's why God gives us a special protection. And it's not just some type of callousness for our hands or nerves that just get used to it over time. No, it's something that is entirely outside of us. There's this beautiful picture, you think about armor. After describing to believers that we have everything we could ever need in Jesus Christ, it's like this beautiful eternal sphere in which we live, a reality in which we now stand by God's grace, having communicated that throughout this letter to the Ephesians, the Apostle Paul is then inspired to share these words about the armor that God gives us to help us when we're facing heat on every side temptations. Finally, be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Notice this isn't something that we must muster up on our own. Be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. That, that's really where strength is found. Put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. If the devil's been around a long time, he's met more than a hundred people that are like us that have our weaknesses. In fact, many more. So does he not know how to scheme in order to try and get at, us, get at us, in order to lead us down the wrong path? Maybe we should give him a little bit more credit with all humility. And then that is why we need the armor that only God can give us. Not this armor that has gaps between plates, no chinks here or there. Rather, we need the full armor of God. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. In the first video in this series, I mentioned that we're attacked on three sides, ourselves, the world, and the deep, dark evil that is out there. But the Bible makes it clear that is the case. But since our battle is really against an evil that we can hardly comprehend, all the more reason then that we need a God who is greater than that evil, and we have one. A God who equips us with armor that is full and complete, and it helps us withstand every scheme that this dark evil tries to employ against us. Every time there is a path, let's say it's lust for somebody who is not your spouse, or lust for the wrong thing, a discontentment in our heart because we're not okay with the blessings that God has given us. The temptation to manipulate the things in our life, whether we want to get an advantage at work, in the economy, over against people that are below us or weaker than us, in our marriage and relationships, our friendships with our kids. Even the temptation to simply grab onto some type of treat that this world offers that we know is definitely not going to be enough for us in the end. Whatever it might be, there are so many stepping stones that the darkness of evil tries to put out before us to allure us. 
a type of scheming that is way too strong for us. But that is why we have, and that is why we need the armor of God. Look at how he describes it. Therefore, put on the full armor of God, so that when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground. And after you have done everything, to stand. Stand firm then with the belt of truth buckled around your waist. In every way that the, we are trying to be deceived in this world, with all of the lies that are bombarding our hearts and our minds, we have God's truth, symbolic belt that keeps us tight and fastened, helping unveil the deceiver and everything that he is telling us. With the breastplate of righteousness in place, this perfect symmetry with everything that God demands, to being able to stand before God and say, I never took a wrong stand. That can't come from us. It can only come from the one who withstood every temptation, Jesus, the righteous one. And he gives his righteousness to us, his people, so that it covers over us as we stand before God, but it also protects us when we stand against the assaults of the evil one. And with your feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. Feet that are ready to, to stand firm because we know where we stand. We stand in God's grace and that gives us peace. But we are also ready to move. To be able to share this gospel of peace in a world that is dying, broken, hurting, and falling into so many temptations. How many people don't even know? But we have this good news that brings peace to a dying world which is really important when you think about temptation, isn't it? That God who loves us doesn't just give us equipment just for ourselves, but this proper equipment to help other people that are struggling to stand under the heat of temptation as well. In addition to all this, take up the shield of faith with which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. Arrows that are meant to cut, hurt, and even kill, but they're flaming. They're intended to burn. All of these temptations lead to that, but we have this shield of faith that God has given us that extinguishes these flaming arrows and it helps us, yes, but it also helps us help others. Finally, take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. This helmet of salvation, it protects us that we are already God's children, having been saved by everything Jesus has done. But we're not just supposed to be lying around like some sheep. We have the sword of the Spirit. We have the Word of God that identifies all of the lies that the devil and this world and even we tell ourselves. This sword is living and active. It is powerful. It redeems people and connects those that are lost to the God who only wants them to be found. And it even helps us when we are being tempted so that no matter what stepping stones are in front of us, we have all of the equipment we need and we have all of the equipment that others around us also need. It is this word of God that is powerful, that has saved us and connected us to our Savior now and forever.